we're excited to be at the lake. Already got our suitcases in. You this is my new favorite house now. They have an Xbox, a basketball goal. We should just live here. Oh, yeah. We're going to go tubing. It's going to be so fun. Let's go to Walmart. Now. We've got a big weekend, don't we? Back. I want to come back. We have to shut that door. We've got to run. We're running to get our supplies, aren't we, baby? We, oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to get whipped cream because they have hot chocolate. So Maverick is happy. <gasps> we made it to the lake. We're have? excited. He has 2K. So, Mav, do you like our lake house? Duh. So, I mean, what's there not to like about <laughs> besides the Texas tech plant? We have friends that love tech. Well, we don't. We like OU. I know, Besides but Memphis. we can still like tech. Memphis. Memphis. Memphis is out of the loop. Okay, so. Oh, there's a tube. Oh, it looks like we're going to have to set up the, um, the, um, thing is. Well. No, the, um. That is annoying sound. Well, they're Came early to get everything set up. We're about to run to Walmart. We didn't really know what it was going to be like, but we think it's going to be good. We're going to be able to pull our boat up right here. Maverick doesn't like that they're tech fans, but I like tech. My friend, I have a good friend who loves tech, so I'm fine with it. We're going to go, let's go get some lighters and citronellas and stuff, Mav. Don't get near there, baby. You could fall. Maverick. I think this guy, the owner, has kids, but I think his wife divorced him or died. Honey, where do you come up with these assumptions? In the brain. Oh, That's my God. Are you ready for a big weekend? I don't care. I still want to. Memphis. Memphis. Sunscreen. No, I haven't got any. This is his first time to ever do this. We rented a boat today. So let's see. There he goes. Are you wanting to do this? Are you excited? It's awesome, man. It's not something to be scared of. It's awesome. I was about to like fly off. That's gonna help you, Shugs. You're gonna get on with Mav. So today is a first for our boys. They've never tubed. So we're just doing something fun. We have a baseball tournament out here this weekend. So we're just spending the day on the lake today. When you get on, kind of get in the middle a little bit. You're going to hang on these two right here. Maverick's going to hang on those two. Okay? No, baby, they're not sweaty. I mean, jump on. Jump on. You've got it. You've got it. Just hang on to those right there, Maverick. You hang on. You get on that side right there. I mean, I will do it. I'm going to let y'all do it. I'm going to watch y'all. Here we go. Are y'all right, good? Just yeah. hang on. Wait.
Memphis, are you excited, nervous, what? Nervous? Okay, you just hold on, okay? He's fixing the ladder. You guys ready? First time. Let's not call you an expert, but... So, I'm a little nervous. Oh, I don't right. think this feels calm. Honey, a boat just went by. Oh. Hey, Stick with us. It's going to be fine. I don't... Do you think I can do it, ma'am? No. It's okay. It's all I can. Kimberly's driving! Turn it over. Yeah, there you go. Six. Turn this, turn the pile over. Seven. No, 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 no. Wait for your pile. Twelve. Okay. So what's that? Seven, eight, ten, no, nine. You need a nine. Oh, yeah. I got this card. I don't need this ten. Boom! I'm an on our roll. That. Good morning, C6 fam from the lake. Good morning. Happy summer. We got ball games all day. Summer 2019. Yeah. Make sure that if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And tell your friends. Yeah. And like the videos. Yeah. Comment. We're trying to get to 5,000. 5,000 subscribers. So we do need y'all to help. But... Yesterday, I have to say this, so we rented a boat. We just rented a little pontoon, is that what it was? Well, kind of. Sort of, whatever. Um, we rented just a little boat. And I took the boys tubing, and she taught me how to drive. I never drove a boat before. 
My parents never allowed me on the lake. They you thought it was too dangerous. So, I, um, I learned how to drive a boat yesterday. Yeah. Shay let Shook drive the boat. He was just talking about it this morning. I played him that Alan Jackson song about Daddy Got Him Drive. That's what it made me think of when he was sitting on Shay's lap driving. It's a great day. That was fun. But Shug said, I want, I want this on the blog. I don't have lipstick on yet. Um, Shug said, this was a bet. He goes, Mom, this was a better than awesome day. Better than awesome. So, you never know. Shay might have to buy us a boat. We need to buy one, but the price tags are pretty high. They, they're proud of the boats. <laughs> so the let's one, hope we win. We gotta win this first game, y'all. Yep. We got to win it. But Shug's the reason we're here. So we're Shug, the reason we got to come to the lake. Yeah, it's gonna be great. So, anyways, I hope everybody's having a great day, great summer. Peace. So, what do you think, Shug, is gonna happen at this game? I know. Do you think we're gonna win? No. You don't? He doesn't think we're going to win. Oh, that's... Are you done? Seriously? <laughs> I don't really think we're going to win. Well, you better believe if you think we aren't, we aren't. If you think we are, we are. That's how it works. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Tell him, Astro. Tell him. Tell him. I don't get told. Yeah, he's thinking it. He's like, Shug, get with the program. Tell him. He said, Shug, you got to believe to achieve. Oh, no, don't let him out. Woo! Hey everybody, so we are back from our ball games. First, I'm gonna say this. I like made this decision when Maverick started playing ball, like I was not gonna be intense person about sports because I felt like I got, are you laughing at me? I felt like I got way like too much with the walker away. Like I would just be so into these games all the time. So I'm like, I just, I just want to be like these parents because I can see other parents that just like sit there and don't really care. So I'm like, okay, that's how I'm going to be. Well, it's never happened so far. I, I try. I, I did good during regular season, I think. But what I want to say is today, I think I had some huge like life thoughts as the game was going on because it was a very, 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 very intense game. And um, and I could even see, I, I think the boys felt pressure. Did you feel like they felt some pressure? I, I think it was like on, it, it was just a lot. And we're in a, we're in a big tournament this weekend, it's a big deal. So, here's a couple that takeaways that I wanted to share with all of you because it really reminded me of what successful people do to get their wins. And I think sometimes say you're in a business or this is for your business, you start out strong and you're running towards goals and things are going good and then you start to have some obstacles and I felt like that's how our game started. It was like, oh my gosh, the first couple innings, I thought, we're going to win. Like, did you feel like that? I thought, like, we're really going to beat this team. And then we had an off inning where they had a really good inning. And they were scoring, scoring, scoring. And then we're kind of like, oh, oh my gosh. I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen. And I think that's where we get in life, whether it be in our marriages, in problems that we're dealing with. We have an off inning in our business. There's maybe a month or two months we don't work. And then we start to feel like the win is too far away if we have more than one off inning or more than one off month, months that 
it's like we quit because we don't know how to come back. Now what, when you're highly successful, you can know that you can have an off inning and still come back from it. And that's what great teams do. That's what great business owners do. That's what great coaches know. So as I watch the coaches rally the kids to stay in the game, that was the first thing. And then we had, we had some big mistakes happening on the field as well that were costing us. And instead of tearing the kids down, even one kid, because I said to Shay, what did you say to him? He said, well, I could see tears in his eyes, so I scooped him up because he just picked him up. I said, it's okay to make mistakes. So I think sometimes you just gotta remind yourself it's okay to make mistakes, it's okay to mess up, just don't quit. Don't stop running towards what you're called to run towards. Don't stop thinking it's possible. Some of you set great big goals and you're running towards them because this is the end of a month and um, end of a year. And so some of you just have to keep going, keep believing, keep hoping, and then swing that bat over and over and over again because you never know when you're gonna get the hit that's gonna be the game-winning hit. You want to add anything to my thoughts? Y'all want to see Shay? Talk loud because it's on Boxer. So here's Shay. This is what the bear, as we call him, because he's a little intense. I have to rest. Talk loud. <laughs> so he's laying on the couch, y'all. Well, and also, just to reiterate on making mistakes, well, if you don't learn from your mistakes, what good was that mistake? And that's what I told the little boy. I was like, okay, you made a mistake, but did you learn? Did you learn right. something? What not to do the next time? And so it's okay to make mistakes. Mistakes are great. Mistakes are a good thing because it, it helps us learn and get better and grow and become better at whatever we're doing. So don't uh, just don't be a quitter. Turn right. the mistake because that mistake will help you be better. But anyways, is what else? What is this call for? What is this about? This is about you getting off the couch. We gotta go rent our boat. So, we are Memphis. Say hi to the C6 fan, come say hey. So we, we are empowering people while we take a little rest and we're about to go pick up a boat and we're gonna go back out on the water. We've rented another boat. The kids talked their dad into renting another boat. And um, I just wanna tell you the work is always worth it. Anything, when I work, magic happens. When I work, success comes. And I've had a lot of critics over the years, especially when I built my life and I would work and work and work and work, say, she works too much. She's just gonna wear herself out. I can tell you, I, I never have one day that I regret, regret working the way that I've worked throughout my life. The work is worth it. You can have a life that you want to have and that you design, but it does come with not quitting, not giving up, keeping on swinging, and being like our Shug and scoring that last win and run, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what he did, didn't you, baby? Mm -hmm. You were so... Ice cream. And he's got ice cream, mm -hmm. doesn't he? So, we love y'all. We'll see y'all soon. Have they seen Astro? They have seen Astro. They love, do y'all love Astro? Memphis wants to know. Jump in! Woo! Why didn't you go?